another dish in the Uline Dot Life. I am your host, P.E. Son Keller. How you doing today? Everybody, we all have a special guest in the house, the one and only Sean Quinn. As we set up, we're doing our stuff, so y'all know how we do it. Get your pens out, get your papers, because we're going to give you a lot of information. Today is all about women empowering. We had another sister on last week. We're going to keep it flowing, and we have one more week with the sisters. It's Black History Month, so we're going to get as many sisters out. And we're going to do our men for the last part of the, uh, the month. All right, y'all. So, Sean Quinn, how you doing, Queen? Hey, I'm All doing right. good. It is a blessing to be yes. here yes. with you on this day. I know that's right. So, listen up real quick, y'all. We just want to let everybody know that we are here. You can call 312-834-8020 if you have any questions afterwards, because what we're going to be doing is we're going to be letting people know how they can get in touch with you, all the things that you have going on. We want to promote and push everything as far as possible. You know how we do. We got thousands of viewers at home. Thank you to all our people. You guys at home, you're getting behind the scenes as we go live on TV. And you're, you guys can always turn right now to Chicago Access. If you got Wild Dish, uh, Comcast, you know, whatever you have, we got you. All right, so Sean Quinn, we're just going to dive off into it real quick. So, Sean Quinn, we've been hearing so much about Sean Quinn on the streets. You're doing radio shows. You have a podcast. You have so much going on, the food eateries. So, let's start with the beginning. Can you please tell us about yourself and what it is that you fully do? Well, um, I do. I wear many, many hats. Yes. Um, as you and I, we go way back. Yes. Uh, <laughs> we go back, way back to the nineties, way back mm -hmm. to to, yeah, to uh, for years. our upbringing. And um, I am from the streets of Chicago. I am the queen. Uh, and I heard you grew up out of your well. I did. Some time out of your okay. Shout out to the project. Out of your well, Cabrini Green, <laughs> sisters and brotherhood. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And, right. and it's it's such a privilege. You've been to, most of your it life. is. It you is. It's such a privilege to. Mm -hmm be able to be self-made, uh, to be able to be from the streets of, uh, you know, from the projects, from right. 39th and King Drive, um, because so many people who have, it's, it's so many great people that came from our community right. and from our upbringing. You got Curtis Mayfield, oh, Jesse absolutely. White, you know what I'm saying, Candyman, you dig? <laughs> Candyman. <laughs> uh, um, um, it, so many of our um, own have come from where we came yeah. from. And being a woman, a small business entrepreneur out of yes. Chicago, a lot of people felt like, especially from where we came from, that mm -hmm. we couldn't make it, you know, mm -hmm. or that we needed to hit the lottery or that we right. needed to have a certain amount of money. But for me, I got it out of the mud. Right, right, I got right. it out of the mud. I didn't have no, any small business loan. I didn't have anything to start my business. All I needed was a vision and a dream. Mm. And that's how yeah. I got it. Um, I started... Um, and and, and then another thing is what's so amazing, and for all of you all out there, um, I want you all to be encouraged. I also am a mother of six children. Ooh, okay, all okay. right. So I did business. all of this All with business. six children. Right. So that means you had to balance out your time, schooling, because it's obviously before pre-COVID, you mm -hmm. know, and so, you know, homework. You mm -hmm. know, schedules, doctor's appointments. So this is a woman. And, and the reason why we are, I decided that I really wanted to push Sean Quinn this week is because she has so many hats, like she said, but her perseverance, because I've seen her go up and down through the years and always come back out on top. Always. Always come back out on top, you know, through God's grace and what you did. So real quick, I want to, you know, get on to the nitty gritty, you know mm -hmm. what I'm saying, because we have so many, you know, people watching right now. Sean Quinn, so, you know, let's talk about, you know, the, the, the changing of the name. So I know you had a food place, you know what I'm saying? Yes, How I, did that go? I started my um, catering company. Mm -hmm. uh, it was a vending business at first. Okay. You know, because you we started off vending. It was Johnny Tacos and Dinners. A lot of okay. people know it as Johnny Sh Tacos. That's J-O-H-E-N-Y. And then that's the S-H-H. -H. That's the mm -hmm. H is y'all Tacos. Okay. And we changed the name to yeah. Just To Cater, LLC. So Johnny Tacos and Dinners is the formal name. It's uh, Just To Cater because um, we're taking it to the next level. Mm -hmm. um, the Johnny's Tacos was when we were vending to get our name out there because you had to start somewhere, okay? So we right. were vending, and now we're catering only mm. um, business, and we're taking it to the next level. Um, and we're also looking to... Uh, do a non for profit and be able to feed the homeless and also mm. be able to yes. cater to the youth where we want to be able to open a branch in our business to where we start a summer camp for children between the ages of 10 to 17. Right. So that's another reason why we changed the name to Just to Cater. 
Okay, all right. Well, much love to, to Latasha Tooth because she also had her, she's doing a feeding of the homeless, and she came in today, one of our, uh, you know, beautiful CG queens, and she's out here doing what she can too, you know. And so, okay. You know, man, Matt, hats off to her. We'll have her on the show soon as well. So, so with the tacos, what made you, you know, so why did you start this? What, did, what made you, did you have a love for food? Like, how did you get into this? I actually didn't. Uh, <laughs> I, um, I got married, mm -hmm. and uh, my husband, uh, Johnny, was actually, um, is the one that had a passion for cooking. Nice, and like nice. many women who mm -hmm. uh, support, you know, that better half, right. um, who was cooking. My, my thing was radio. I was right. doing radio media. Um, I'm a host, and mm. so that's what I well, was Well, I think doing. that's how we met, you know, so do a yeah. lot of entertainment fields, do media. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm an entertainer, you mm -hmm. know. Um, I do, I'm a podcaster, blogger. Um, that was my field, and so mm -hmm. I joined hands with my partner, and he was cooking. So, of course, that was another hat that I had to wear to support him, mm -hmm. and so I got into the field because that was his passion, and so, you know, right. uh, that's how I got into the catering business, and then from the bending to the catering, and now I have a rental car company as well mm -hmm. okay so i also it's called just to rent mm. and you can right. find my uh, cars that i now feature only uh through my website right. but also through the Turo platform where i also have a rental car company mm. uh, catering to all of chicago and south land so so stop yeah. Ooh, hold the presses so the sister had okay now we just started you already have two things going on mm -hmm. with the catering service and the car running let's stop for a second tell us about First of all, what is the name of the car place again? It's called Just to Rent. Just to Rent, okay. And tell us a little bit about what you do with Just to Rent. So the Just to Rent is that I just have a fleet of car. I would like to be as high as Enterprise and hers. Right. And what made me start the rental car company is because of the pandemic. As you okay. know, know, the pandemic shut down the whole food industry. Right. So when it shut down the food industry, which nobody could have suspected that, mm. um, I could have shut down. I could have balled over. Right. and was like, oh, right. my God. But, of course, right. not me. You know. Right. No, that, no, no like, woe to me. I have mm, to keep it moving. Exactly. I, have, I have children. I have a Ooh, lot of things go to, get her, go to get stand her. for. I so love when, I, yes. when they shut the food industry, right. I had to pull another vision yes, out. Yes. And that vision was to create a, another uh, platform for myself, mm -hmm. which was to purchase a fleet of rental cars. Now, I want to mm. talk about that. My car was repoed. Mm. My actual car was repoed. Ooh, okay. Right, uh, right. Like a lot of people during the p pandemic, they suffer financial crisis. Mm. And my catering business took a hit. Of course, when oh, they closed, it, yeah, okay. it took a major hit because okay. when they shut down the food industry, of course, they also shut down entertainment. They shut, you know, right. my my right. catering vending company was based on people having parties and events. Mm. So when right. they shut down everything, that goes my catering mm. company. Okay, right. Right. so it took a major right. hit. Okay, when it took that major hit. Um, a lot of my finances bellied up too. Ooh. So when my finances bellied up, my car was repoed mm. um, October 29th. And now this is a sister who have no shame because she's so, and this is another reason why I love you, Sean Quinn, because you keep it straight, you keep mm. it real. You know what I'm saying? Yep. And that's the point that we try to let everybody know that we're all real out here. That's why I give the jobs out. That's why I started you. Mm. Line. I mean, here I am. Now, y'all, y'all, hey, not trying to sidetrack, but y'all see this band right here, right? Mm. I just had a baby boy, so I'm coming from the hospital, y'all. Yes. So my life, with much love to my son, you know, Kai, because he's mm. out here. Yes, Kai, we love you so much. You know what I'm saying? Yes, baby Welcome Kai. to the world. Thank you, Welcome Kai. to the world. He's here. And so, and, 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 you know, we're getting the sugar levels up, so I'm back and forth, you know, back mm -hmm. and forth. And my girl, you know, she's on point. She's by her side. You know, she's there because we are doing the natural thing, you know yes, what I'm saying? So we're yes. going to be doing a little bit of, you know what I'm saying, natural Shopping, feeding. Baby. Natural feeding, of course. And uh, and shout out, you know what I'm saying, of course, you know what I'm saying, to my whole staff, you know what I'm saying, with, uh, you know, you're coming to the front of you line, you know, my girl Jackie Lee, yes. you know what I'm saying, and the other interns that are there, and of course, my girl Shawnee K, you know what I'm saying, so much love to her because she went through a lot to, you know what I'm saying, had this baby, you know what I'm mm -hmm. saying, it was, it was, you know, just, man, y'all don't even know, you know, how much of a writer I got, but I just wanted to say, so, seeing that, I could see that this being Black History Month, we had to get another go-getter on here because we went back to yes, girl, guy girl, you. and we're going to keep it going. You know what I'm saying? So, with that being said, I just want to say, so we have these, you know, this um, the catering service, yes. and then now we have the car rental service. And so, what else do we have, you know what I'm saying, that we got going on? So, you know, one of the things that was going on with um, when I stopped for a minute to support mm -hmm. my... Um, 
my significant other, my right. husband, because mm-hmm. um, I was doing radio and everything. And sometimes right. radio don't always pay the bills, but it is a passion, mm-hmm. you know, for me. Uh, when I started doing the vending and catering with my husband, um, mm-hmm. <laughs> mm-hmm. but you had this all going on. And yeah. So then, well, when you took a pause, you had you know the catering service, and so you bought the car. Car no, no I'm sorry. Ask me that question again. What was the question again? Okay, so what basically what we're saying is what made you drive because you have the car service out. So what were some of the, because those are two already. So we're asking what else do you oh, have yes. going on? Yeah, I know okay. you wear many hats. So we want to keep the ball rolling so, so we got as much as we can. So what happened was I ended up having to let go of the radio, okay. which was my passion. You know, mm-hmm. sometimes you don't always make the money that you want in your field, right. but you do stuff that's your passion. Right. And right. radio and media was my passion, but I end up having to go and chase the dollar, mm-hmm. you know, with the catering company and everything. Right. So now that we're doing the catering and the rental car and all of that, I lost a lot of my followings um, mm-hmm. throughout the years not doing my media and radio. Okay. So I'm going back to my passion, which I'm excited about, which mm-hmm. I'm doing. I back picked up my podcast mm-hmm. and my YouTube. So y'all make sure y'all follow on my YouTube channel at mm-hmm. uh, Sean Queen. Make sure you subscribe. Now spell and, it out because Sean Queen is spelled out. A lot of people think of the name Sean is in you know maybe a girl or guy where it's S E A N, but yours is different. So let them know how to get in touch. It is Sean, S-H-O-N. Okay, so that's four letters, y'all. That's Sean Queen, Q-U-E-E-N. So make sure you all are following my um, YouTube channel. It actually has only been up for about a week. Mm-hmm. So make sure you all are supporting that. Uh, it's called Come to Bed right. with Sean Queen. It's up close and personal, y'all. We get in the bed and we talk about some more, some really intimate pieces of my life. And I'm not ashamed. So that's, so that's intimate. So you actually... Yeah. Laying in the bed while you talk, right? Uh, well, mm-hmm. yeah, we, we come to bed together, you know, mm-hmm. and I, that's I the, talk that's about... That's the perception. That's the like perception. That. Okay, that's like the that. perception. Right. You know, because, you know, when you go to bed, when you mm-hmm. get in the bed at the, at, the, at the end of a long day, mm-hmm. you all are just, you know, you, you talk to your girl, you're on one hand, and you're just talking about everything that's Days going on. Bedtime right, stories. Right, 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 right. Yeah, bedtime stories. Well, so it's Come to Bed with Sean Queen, S-H-O-N, Queen. It's my YouTube channel. Please make sure you click, like, and subscribe, and just follow me and follow my journey um, so you'll get very up close and personal with me and I'm there doing that and podcasting again and just doing what I do Pat mm-hmm. that's my passion and right. then on Sundays um, you can also follow me I do a zoom on Sundays as well and it's called just to mingle you, mm. y- you notice I got that just right. to going right, on right, right. the just to cater okay. the just to okay. rent okay. just to <laughs> so, so now how did that come mingle. about like you know expound on that a little bit um you know what um my life like my Angelo said mm. my life has not been no Krista stare okay mm. and so the just to is like a ministry for me okay. you know um I never wanted to cater mm. I never thought to have a rental cost. I never mm-hmm. thought to be able to podcast, but right. there's a ministry behind all of that. Um, right. What was going on with the catering is, um, you know, everything that had changed in my life with the, you know, I never thought I would do that, but mm-hmm. with the uh, vending company, uh, me and my, my husband, I, mm-hmm. I joined tasks with him. I mm-hmm. always wanted to do media, okay? Well, right. you know, entertainment was my right. world. But somehow I got thrown into, right. you know, the food industry. Okay. Then this big pandemic right, happened. Right, right. And then I came from vending to just to cater. So okay. everything that has happened in my life led me to a place where I'm just catering now. Exactly. You know, so okay. that's kind of like a ministry. With the repossession of my car, here's the funny thing. Let mm-hmm. me tell y'all. Um... I had all this stuff had been going on with the finances and the woes mm-hmm. and everything that was going on in my life. Me and my children had decided one day that we had just had enough. It was mm-hmm. so much going on. We decided to go to a hotel and just take a break, take okay. a load off, take a vacation, not worry about nothing. Right. So we had gone to a hotel mm-hmm. and my daughter, I, I was kind of weeping in the hotel. Mm-hmm. Like I had been kind of crying, right. you know, for two days. And my daughter says, Mom, you've been in this hotel just crying all day. Let's take a break and let's go to Walmart and just walk it off. Mm-hmm. We we go down to the, uh, we. I said, you know what, you're right. I go down to the parking lot and my car was repo. Mm. It was gone. Mm. It was gone. So just add to the mess. It's an add to mm. the woe, right? So mm. near me and my children are stuck in a hotel. And I don't mind telling y'all this because mm. it's all about the ministry. Mm. That is real. It's all about the anointing. It's mm. all about what God was trying to do. So um, I go down and my car was repo. I never had a repossession in my life. I'm stuck in Schaumburg, y'all, mm. with five kids and a repossession with no car. Mm. And my car and I went back upstairs and I cried my eyes out, but God put me in a deep sleep. 
Mm. Because one thing he know is that if he hadn't put me in that deep sleep, I would have been all over the place trying to figure out how mm. to work it out. Right. But he put me in a deep sleep, and when I woke up the next day, I I never applied for a loan online. I, I you know I was one of them. I'm young, but I'm mm. like like I feel so outdated. Mm. Do you feel old but young? Sometimes yeah, because of all the new advancements that keep coming yeah. out so quick. You know everything is changing so fast with the news and the technology and the, you know as far as social media and just all the creations that's coming out. Yeah, just like that Instacart. Mm. Right. Who would ever thought you would have to grocery shop online? I mean, I right. I never thought that you mm. can grow. You know, so even the Uber, like everything, yeah. all is so new to me. I'm right. I'm old, but I feel old but young. Yeah. And so what happened was I end up applying because I mm. I belong to several credit unions. Mm. So I end up applying to all of my credit unions. Right. I, I belong to like maybe seven credit unions, right. you guys. And so I was just trying to see whoever would approve me for mm. a loan if I got approved for a loan. And so I literally applied for all of these auto loans and I was approved in less than 30 minutes of all of these loans for auto, okay? And so after my repossession, you guys, my car got repossessed, 24 hours I applied for a mm. loan, I got all of these loans for vehicles. And so what I, and that's how I got to mm. start my rental car business. I literally right. went and got all of these cars right. with all of these loans mm. and I started a rental car. So what did I name it? Just to rent. So right. what happened was all of these things that happened to me, the repossession, the pandemic, mm. the loss of income, right. everything, everything that happened to me was just for me to be at this place to have my own rental car business. Mm. Okay. So all I right. named it Just right. to yes. Rent. Yes. You know. And you so, get a lot of good responses here on all our social media yeah. and stuff. Um, a lot of people are encouraging you, saying what you went through was, you know, saying really hard. Yeah. Much love to, you know, Miss Crosby. You doing your thing. We appreciate Thank you. you. My boy Maurice has had a really good comment. All our people at home. So I just wanted to say that, yes, it is a blessing. You know what I'm saying? It you is. went through what you had to go through, and I appreciate it. Um, yeah. I, so, I so, want to encourage people out Yeah, there. I was going to say re real quick, too. You know, with you going through all of this, it definitely says something about the, the, the type of go-getter you are mm -hmm. and a very persevering, you know, type of woman who just doesn't take no for an answer, you know, keep a, you know, get up and face life. What are some of the things you can tell? Because, you know, we I got a call last week. Y'all don't know this, right? I got a call last week about a young lady who she saw a show. She was really on the verge. You know, she's very suicidal. But when she saw the show, it uplifted her. And she's been keeping in touch, you know, ever since. So for all those people out here, and God bless her, and for all those people out here who are going through something, women, but right now let's focus on the women because I know they can connect. Just like if I'm talking to the guys, women, what, could, what you want to tell a young sister right now that's just depressed, tired of life, tired of living, going through, you know, this mess that's going on, the COVID, you know, her kids, you know, a situation like yours, being in a hotel, you know, getting out of car, take, what would you tell, what was your turning point to keep going? What would you tell them to encourage them? Um, I wanna I wanna say this um, before I, before I say that I wanna say this I never thought that I would cater I never thought I would do any of this when I first started out in media I had a goal to go all the way to the top mm -hmm. be this big radio personality this huge you know my goal was to be on TV to be the next right. Oprah Wendy Williams and all of that and I never got there and that's why my mm -hmm. podcast is called Just to Mingle that's another ministry because I had to go do all of this just to be right where I'm at podcasting and YouTube and mm -hmm. just to be here and that's why all of my ministries is called just to right. okay be right where I'm at yes. and one thing about um, the I believe that everything that sometimes where you think you're going is not where your creator wants you to be. Right. He wants you to be just where you at so you can get to where you're getting ready to go. Mm -hmm. I am so very grateful that my vehicle was repoed October 29th because this vehicle that I had was costing me almost a thousand dollars a month mm. and it wasn't even worth it. It was the mm. raggliest vehicle in all time mm. and it was such a burden to me and I was holding on to this vehicle and it was a, a financial burden to me mm. but my creator allowed this vehicle to be repoed out of my life just so I can get 10 more mm -hmm. vehicles yes, yes, that yes. I can afford. There you go. Okay? Yes, okay. And that I can lease out and that I can run a business mm. that was going to bring me in more revenue. So had it to not been, my, if it hadn't been for, for the that repo, incident, for that incident, repo, you know, you would not have looked at life in another way or to tackle that situation. To tackle that such. situation. Okay. And I'm telling you something. Don't, if you, if, T.D. Jake said this, mm. and, and, I, and I hold on to this. 
T.D. Jake says, we don't always know what our beginning look like, and we really don't know what the end will look like, but we have to get through that ugly middle mm -hmm. to be able to see what the end going to look like. Mm -hmm. And I encourage everybody out there, that middle is ugly. It's a mm -hmm. hard place to, to get through that storm. But once you get past that middle, mm -hmm. you can ride on. It's the middle that gets you stuck, because I'm telling you, I... When I look over my life, and I'm telling you, I was right where you are, like, right, right where a lot of people are, where it's like, oh, my God, you know, I, I've been depressed. I've been down. I've mm -hmm. been, I felt suicidal. I've been in a place mm -hmm. where I'm like, what, how am I going to feed these six kids? What's right. going on? Even when the pandemic hit, my, all, my sole income was based on people booking my vending, right. people booking right. my catering. Right. You know what I'm saying? But, again, I got through that middle because I said, okay, if this vending is not going to work, I'm going to do something else. I'm going to do something else. You have to keep having a vision, mm -hmm. writing a vision and make it plain. If that don't work, you do something else. If that don't work, you do something else because there's so many hustles to do. Yeah. It's so, this, I mean, we are so gifted in this day and time. Yeah. Nobody should be broke. Mm -hmm. Nobody should be broke. You have to manifest goodness around you. You have to get some good energy. Nobody is going to give you anything. Right. No, okay. when my car was repoed, I slept for a whole day so that my brain can rest. Mm. And when I woke up, my creator gave me a vision. And I listen. Sometimes you just mm -hmm. got to get in right, a place right. by yourself. Don't mm -hmm. let nobody tell you what to do because nobody knew my car was repo. Exactly. I didn't call anybody. Mm -hmm. God allowed, my creator allowed me to rest so I can hear right. what and it listen. was that I needed exactly. to do. Mm -hmm. And sometimes you just got to get in a place where you can be calm enough to mm -hmm. let your creator tell you what to do. Don't call your mom. Don't call your mm -hmm. sister. Don't call your yeah, friends. Yeah. Just get in a place and let your own right. spirit speak right. into exactly. you and you just be positive. Because mm -hmm. I have six children. Children. Mm -hmm. I mean, well, currently I'm caring for mm -hmm. five, mm -hmm. but I have five children. And what I found that best work for me is when I don't tell nobody anything. I don't get any sound advice mm -hmm. from anybody. I just let the spirits work for me. Right. There you go. You know, and if my car, and, and I'm not saying, my cup is not running over now mm -hmm. um, because my, my rental car business is based on somebody renting my car. Mm -hmm. But guess what? If that doesn't work, I have another vision. If that doesn't work, mm -hmm. I have another vision. Mm -hmm. What is the worst thing that can happen to me in business is that that business don't work. Right. That's the worst right. thing. That's the worst thing that can happen. That's and, the and, worst right. thing. And, 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 and that's not really bad. That just leaves you more ulterior and motive to go another route. Yes, and I will be mm -hmm. back if you would have me come back because I now am investing in an amazing company that is growing my money rapidly mm -hmm. and I'm very very shocked it, mm -hmm. I, I decided to pull all of my money out of the banks mm -hmm. I've decided because let me tell you something the banks have to be one of the worst thing, places mm -hmm. you can put your money for years I've had my money in savings accounts CDs account mm -hmm. uh, money markets accounts even stocks and uh, stocks and bonds won't grow your money like the company that I have found mm -hmm. I found the company over if we I, can definitely talk about we that. Gotta, we got to talk about that. that. I put um, money into something that's growing my money so, at rapid so let's, speed. So let's talk about. So you got. Yeah. So we had the transportation. Mm -hmm. We had the food. Yes. Now, there's one more thing I think that you have. Did you have going on right uh, now? I have the podcast going you have on. The podcast. Let's talk about that real quick. Um, what is the name of the podcast series? Just to mingle. Just to mingle. Okay, can you spell that out? So just to mingle is J U S T, the number two. The number two. And then mingle M I N G L E. If you get on my Facebook, which is called Alice, that's my middle name, y'all. Mm -hmm. A L Y C E. Mm -hmm. Alice Sean Queen. That's my Facebook. Mm -hmm. If you get on Alice Sean Queen, you can go ahead and watch me on Sundays. You can get the link to my Zoom and get on my just to mingle. And what that that platform is we talk about relationships I, I i focus on relationships on my platform because mm -hmm. relationships is the all in and we're not just talking about a husband and wife but we're talking about parenting mm -hmm. we're talking about business we're talking about re uh, co um we're talking about business co relationships co yeah, yeah. okay mm -hmm. we're talking about all type of relationships on every single level you know we're talking about uh parent relationships mm -hmm. business relationships um relationships relationships uh we talking about teaching parents relationships so my right. whole platform is about relationships because relationships make the world go round mm -hmm. okay yep. so I'm, I'm just talking about building healthy relationships in the land period right. so all right that's beautiful so real quick i did want to say something that kind of piggyback on what she was saying 
You know, recently I had a um, a situation where there's a young man, and we get this all the time, right? So we get young men and women who, you know, acting up. You know, they're doing what they have to do in school, or they might get a bad report. Somebody calls the parent, you know, and saying, hey, your, your son did this, or, you know, somebody else. And, and the kids are really just out there, right? Mm -hmm. So I started, a, you know, a, a while back, about a year ago, a, a program that we have in Yulon called the Mentor Slash Love Program. And basically what it is, is almost like a big brother program. Mm -hmm. And what we do is we match up men with younger brothers, you know, they want to give them some time and, you know, devote, you know, dedicate, you know, at least some of the hours that they have, free time, of course, to these young men. Okay. And the same thing with women. So I want to encourage everybody, I just want to take a quick minute to say that, man, as hard as, it, as hard as it is out here for a real man to stand up and to devote a little time, just a little time to another younger brother means everything, right? Mm -hmm. You know? And so I encourage people to do that and listening to you as well as, you know, we have some troubled teens that are, you know, females out here. If any males or women, because we do the, you know, put the male with the males and the, and, and the women with, the, you know, the, the younger teen girls, um, would like to step up and be a part of our ULAM mentorship program, I want y'all to reach out to me at 312-834-8020. Again, that's 312-834-8020 because last week we got a breakthrough with a young man who finally found somebody who wanted to be in his life. And I can't tell y'all the difference that it makes. Just for even that mother, it might be a single mom, you know, who by herself, who have a troubled teen, and, and the impact that that makes for that man to come into that young, you know, the young guy's life and be there. Because a lot of people promise you the world, oh, yeah, I got your family, you know, I'm going to look mm -hmm, out, you know. Mm -hmm, or mm -hmm. if the mother mm -hmm. is talking to somebody, right, and they just expect that male to stand up, you know what I'm saying? And a lot of times it doesn't work like that, you know what I'm saying? Right. The male just, you know, you can't put that on nobody. If he's not cut from that cloth, you know, if he doesn't feel the need or doesn't know how to reach out, you can't expect that from that man. You know what I'm saying? Yes. So I applaud all the men who've been on their business, who've got up with our program, who've reached out to these young men, because you've made all the difference in the world, and I and I, and I love you for that. You know what I'm saying? Yes. And, then, and then real quick, too, I want these glasses that we have right here, of course, you guys at home can't see it, but our people at home can on TV. It's made by Akichi Creations, man, and we love her to death. She makes these blinged out glasses. If you like them, man, just get in touch with us, 312-834-8020, and and of course, you know, saying the non for profits, but we'll make it happen. We love you and we'll get you your glass. Well, I will say this I mean, you're looking at two people who came from the projects. He's from Capita Greens, I'm from Ida B. Wells. We got it out the mud. We did, we wasn't yes. somebody who was there with us that was formed. We both are entrepreneurs. We both, we have plenty of family. You know, a lot of people say, well, I can't do it because I had children. How many children do you have now? Mm -hmm. A lot. A, a lot. lot. <laughs> but we can count on both our hands. You don't put me on front street like that I, in front of the whole world? <laughs> well, I, and he's a phenomenal But put, but put it like this. I am good at now, at first, and I do have to say this because it's just only right. It took me a long time to get to that point you know what mm -hmm. i'm saying to be a good dad and um my last you know penitentiary bit i got out and i said you know what i'm not gonna be on this side of the fence i'm gonna be on the other side of the fence mm -hmm. you know what i'm saying and mm -hmm. so i changed my life and i became that good dad mm -hmm. and so and so it takes time so that's why i offer these mentorship programs to people like us who may just need to want to give back now you're a little bit more comfortable a little bit more situated with, with how you're doing it but what i'm trying to now. say is being a father has not stopped you from chasing the goal, be, ha, chasing the dream, having you learn, doing what you need to do. Mm -hmm. You just, and you also a new father right now, right. and it's not going to stop you from getting, you getting to the, the money. It I'm can't stop you. the hustle. It's not going to stop you from being successful. It's not going to stop you from helping the next brother. Me being a mother did not stop me from going to college. It did not stop me from chasing the dream. It's never going to stop me from wanting to go higher in life. Mm -hmm. And so what we, what I said all that to say, no more excuses. No more excuses. Uh, if you want to be great, your children actually should be the reason why you want to go higher. Right. Um, at, at all times, at all costs, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. It doesn't take anything but a little bit of energy. A lot of the kids just want attention. Mm -hmm. I want y'all to remember that. A lot of these children out here right now, especially these bad boys, I deal with all of them. I go to court for a lot of young men, and I, and I try to make it so they don't go to the penitentiary. Mm -hmm. So I talk to the judges, and I say, Sir, you know, Your Honor, before you send them, can you at least let them go through my program? Can you give them one chance, one more chance to go through the Ulan program? Program. I don't care if you just community service, whatever you have to do, don't send them to the joint. Because once you go to the joint, you get the X on your back, 
and it's harder to deal with society. Mm -hmm, so mm -hmm. I try to stop that. So that's why I come in it. You know what I'm saying? Now let's talk about your uh, what you had just mentioned about your program with the boys and everything. Mm -hmm. It's amazing that you said that because when I decided to rebrand uh, Johnny Tacos and make it mm -hmm. just to cater, what made me want to have that summer camp for children between the age of 17, and if there's anybody out there that can help me create this non for profit for my catering business and anybody out there that can assist me, please do so by calling 815 815- Five zero five four three 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 because I number out one more time eight one five five zero five four three 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 because I can use the help to to create my team. What made me think about that because during the pandemic, a lot of these children had nothing to do, including my two daughters. I would see them mm -hmm. YouTubing and doing everything, TikToking, and they had nothing to do either. Well, listen and up, if you want to get in touch with Sean, <laughs> yeah. only because we run out of time. Yeah, and you know you know how fast it goes. Yes. Right? And I gotta say much love, you know, since to my man, you know, since Mari who's been behind the switchboard. But listen up, call 312-834-820 yep. because we'll give you all the information for Sean Quinn. And, man, as always, man, we love you guys. I just want to say, man, you want to give a quick shout-out to somebody? Yes, I want to just shout-out everybody who supported our business. Continue to follow my IG at I am Sean Quinn. Follow me on, on Twitter, TikTok, I am Sean Quinn. Follow my Facebook at Ali Sean Quinn. And follow me and keep on subscribing to my YouTube at Sean Quinn, y'all. Thank you so much, you for having me yes, here. I appreciate yes. you. Again, as y'all already love. know. Each one, teach one, and hunt. Don't never stop them. Uh, Peace out.